So your AC system's not working that well and you hear this clicking noise under the hood. That's your AC compressor cycling on and off. That's because your refrigerant is low. The only reason it's low is because there's a leak. Let's check it out. We had the refrigerant removed from the vehicle and it only had 0.7 pounds in it. This vehicle requires 2.3 pounds, so it's amazing that it was even working at all. This vehicle has dye in the system so that you can find a leak from the factory, but we added a little bit more dye and charged the system so that we could try to pinpoint where the leak was coming from. If there's a large leak, you can't do that. Some of the common areas where you could find a leak are from the condenser, the compressor, the lines, and the evap core, all of which we sell at 1AAuto.com. The first thing you wanna do is open the hood and take a quick look, see if there's anything that's obvious. Sometimes you don't even need a ultraviolet light and glasses to see something. There could be some staining on some of the lines or even the compressor or something. So if you see that, and then you take the light and the glasses, then the dye might show up and you know where the leak is coming from. If we don't find anything there, next we're gonna work from the front of the vehicle and go all the way back. We'll check out the condenser. The condenser takes a lot of hit from the elements. There could be rocks, pebbles, even bugs can get into the condenser, cause a leak. Sometimes the welds on the sides because of the shaking or movement of the vehicle can crack. So check out that real good. You may have to take a grill off or some components just to see the whole condenser. Check that out. Next, we're gonna take a look at the compressor on this vehicle. It's in the front of the engine and it's driven by the serpentine belt. You wanna take a look at where the seals are, see if there's anything leaking there or where the lines go into the compressor. Sometimes it's the seals, not necessarily the compressor. This vehicle actually has rear AC, so there's lines going from the front of the vehicle to the back of the vehicle. We want to check out all those lines and make sure there's no leaks there. A lot of times where the fittings are, where the clamps are, there can get some moisture in there and that can corrode the line and cause a leak. So check those out real good. We didn't see any leaks with the light. Now that doesn't mean there isn't a leak. There is other tools you can use. There is a leak detector that will sniff out any leaks. It's looking for the refrigerant, it smells it, and then it gives you the warning that there's a leak in that area. If you discover your leak with the dye in the UV light or even with the leak detector, whatever component you see the dye on, that's gonna be the part that's gonna to need to be replaced. You are gonna to have to get the refrigerant extracted from the vehicle so that you can safely do the repair. We've checked all that area out and we still haven't found any type of leak. Now there could be a really small leak that you just need to drive the vehicle for a while for that dye to show up. But there's one more area we didn't look at yet and that is the evap core. It's kind of hard to get to. You may have to take a blower motor out or even a resistor like we did and then try to put a mirror in there or even a camera if you have a small boroscope you can slide it in there, try to see what's going on in there. And you can see in our situation, we have a lot of dust and debris collecting. Sometimes you see pine needles down near the base, and that's gonna collect moisture and corrode the evap core. That's what's gonna cause your leak, and you're gonna have a situation in there where the evap core is leaking and it needs to be replaced. One way to prevent all the debris from getting on the evap core is replacing the cabin filter regularly, and you can get those at 1AAuto.com. Unfortunately, this vehicle does not have a cabin filter. That's why there's all the debris on the evap core. And remember on a vehicle like this, it has rear AC, so you could have a leak in the rear evap core, but for our situation, it's gonna be from the front one. After you're done installing the air conditioning parts you got from 1AAuto.com, you wanna have the vehicle professionally recharged. Make sure the AC system works great, and it's working great now. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.